so I'm just going to add some um, understanding uh, about that plan. You know, and I realized that this morning, you see, we're here this morning, and we're celebrating. We've come together to celebrate ourselves, our consciousness, to uh, re rejoice and immerse ourselves in our consciousness. And more than that, to celebrate our very wonderful, our incredibly wonderful and rich life, the rich life we luxuriously lead as metaphysicians. For because of the stand that we've taken to choose to understand principle, we are blessed with the high opportunity to live our lives in the higher dimensions, actually, higher dimensions and planes of spiritual consciousness. Because of our choice to hang out in high places, we are blessed to experience the wonders, the jewels of our high knowing. To live life in the full awareness of the presence of God. Now you know a lot of the world is living in sense of absence and no matter how much you accumulate around you in sense of absence or separation from the beautiful presence that is you can never be permanently wealthy or happy so we are very blessed to live in this awareness of the presence of God and this morning I want to congratulate all of us and say to you that we are about, we are exactly about our Father's business. For the thing that we are doing through, through all our efforts, studying through practical ap applications in, of truth in our lives where the challenges are there, and sure, we have to make a choice to apply that which we know to be true and not just go with the magnetism of whatever pulled us before. So, through these applications and through conscientiously transforming every situation that comes in front of us to bear witness to the truth of our being, we are making the way clear. In fact, we are facilitating because we are in conscious cooperation with the cosmos, with what it wants with that divine plan for all of being, that full expression, that divine plan for all of life. And that plan is, we must realize, is for every single being. This is God's world and we are God's effects, sure enough. Okay? Divine effects. So the divine plan is that every being every child, every expression of God shall come to live and be the freedom and perfection that he, she is. Absolutely. Completely. How? Through the avenues of our soul culture, which is what we do when we contemplate truth and embody it and meditate. And through the avenue of our full conscious awareness the evolution of our intelligence to come to the full awareness of that which is. The plan of the cosmic Christ pattern is this, which has been given, was given from the beginning, and is meant to be absolutely fully realized in, through, and as each one of us. It is meant from the beginning absolutely guaranteed for each life to be perfected in wisdom, love, intelligence, divine bounty, and all good things. Absolutely. Barring and excluding no one. So, in the last two weeks, we've been talking, you know, looking at this thing of evolution, and we've been talking of the way of evolution uh, through which processes, divine intelligence acts 
through us, we experience as impulses and urges to do this, to do that. But really, even that is not of ourselves. It is the push of, or the pressure of the um, divine intelligence pressing out through us. So divine intelligence acts and fulfills its own plan by means of us. So how does divine intelligence do this? We recognize that the fundamental and first and most primary step is the renewing of our mind. So it's first an act of men mentation where the reasoning patterns and the mind mean, begins to comprehend a new concept of the universe, a new understanding of what it is, that it's scientific, that it's orderly, that it can be accessed. Now, maybe we haven't embodied it yet, but at least our minds are venturing forth to step out, to see, to um, get, but through observation, what that cosmic pattern is, okay? So the renewing of our mind, and this is accomplished through the recognition, which means recognizing, the re-knowing, the awakening, the re-knowing, the claiming, reclaiming and knowing of our oneness with perfect spirit. Oneness with perfect spirit. Not human, not this, not divided thinking. We are one with all kingdoms of being because all is perfect spirit. We are one with perfect spirit. So we started the path home. We are linked up to the power line where we had been separate before. Now we recognize the renewing of our mind. We are one with perfect spirit. I am one with God, born of spirit, not man nor woman, through man and woman. But I am born of spirit. So this is a release of identity. A case of false identity is once again solved. <laughs> Mistaken identity, okay? I am one with spirit. Secondly, okay, so that was first. Reconnecting there. Secondly, we saw that God has equipped us perfectly for our journey into full illumination. Full illumination from the beginning with, we are equipped with perfect powers that we must come to awaken, uh, to fully understand again, and to utilize. Okay? So we are equipped from the beginning to come out of our sleep, out of our separation, out of our pain. You could say our freedom was even planned in advance, okay, out of our pain, and we are equipped to have full realization. What are these gifts of powers that we discover? These tools, these mighty tools of assist that are, we, you know, as part of the package. We're born with them, okay, and they are everything that we need to get our illumination. What are they? Decision and will, choice, utilization of will, which, you know, connects to the creative power, and commitment as a force, as a power that backs up our choices. We have the power to decide. Once we know what is, we then have the power to decide as we're building up our strength, okay, to stay with our vision, to utilize our will, our commitment, our decision to stay with our vision in the midst of challenges. Okay, this is the evolutionary period. In the midst of challenges, am I going to go where I went and have always gone and where it didn't work out? Or am I going to apply through my force of di my dynamic, force of commitment and will, through the challenges, apply what I know to be true and stay with it, stay with it? Am I deciding for my inheritance? We are deciding for our inheritance, to claim our inheritance and our rights as heirs of the kingdom. To live and to prove the point. To live and to prove the point, to be living proof that I am in this world, but I am not of it. I am more than this world before me. 
I am more than every world. Say you are more than enough. I understand what that really means, you know, with a full understanding of spirit. Okay, so we've been given the tools to know how to stay with a thing until it's manifest. We have choice, we have power. These are gifts of the divine. Just as good as if somebody gave you artillery, you know, to go into battle or armor. So we've been given this transformational tools. We have been given will and we can use this gift. Being able to use our assets, our perfect assets of will, decision, creative power, thought, freely to direct our great force to accomplishments of truth. Accomplishments of truth. To stand still for the truth of our being and then all shall fall away before us. So we are the inheritors and as such, as the inheritors, we abide under the arch of God, which is that light, that beautiful light arc, which arches high above us and has a sturdy and wide radiance, the sides being radiant, and penetrates deep into the earth. And though we don't see, you know, the other end of the arch, it is there beneath, grounding us in that magnetic field, grounding us in a perfect field of life. We are in a perfect field of life, which is the arch of God. So from this arch, we may draw of divine substance we may draw what we desire, what we require exists, we might say, within the walls of this protoplasm. Troward uses the word protoplasm, you know, the brilliant protoplasm, or the stuff. It's called the stuff. <laughs> but within this etheric light vibration exists everything that we need. And as once we claim our inheritance, which we realize is that we can draw upon this from this magnetic field everything that we require. And we have, it indeed, everything that we need is self-existent within the entire circumference. So if I say, God, Spirit, I need divine inspiration. So I open myself and because I open, the magnetic current, you know, delivers it, that which is already prepared for me, that substance, that very real substance, more real than anything, to me. So whatever I need to along the path to my illumination, to my fulfillment, whether it be I need to, you know, sell my house now, or I need to have a cosmic realization, you know, it's all the same to God. So all that stuff is we can draw upon the field, which is complete, to bring it into our lives. So it has been given us that we may know it, that we may use it, that we may discover that we have it and come into full mastery about that and recover ourselves because the plan is freedom. Okay? So if I need to know myself more, all I need is to go within and say, please, I'd like to know myself more. And the very walls of substance will vibrate and you know, come to me through the avenues of inspiration or intuition. The words of truth about myself, the cosmic words, will come through to me, to you. So I am connected with all that is. I am you are. If I need now, this is so important to understand because this is a change now. In this new time period, there's a new, there's a change, such fundamental changes going on about understanding who we are. If I know that I am connected with all is, I also should know that if I need a healing of any kind whatsoever on my way to full realization 
of who and what I am on my way to recovering fully from the Maya, the confusion, so to speak. You know, the confusion. If I need any healing on my way, God shall pulsate that perfect light substance through my being and all shall be perfected at my request. Why? Because my illness, whatever it may be, illness and finances and love or whatever, is not the point. That is not what God is about. The God in us is about, wants me to continue, not to be stuck in things, but to continue on my divine journey and be free, get free to commune with that great source of all that is. So, of course, if you need a healing of any kind, God will serve it up because God wants you free, meaning the divine intelligence. God wants you free. God, the great I Am, never meant for you or me to be permanently arrested in experience. No. That was not the intention or conditions to be mired in and stuck in, even if they're good. We are never to be meant to be encased within. We are meant to be free. For that does not serve the purpose. My hanging out in conditions does not serve the divine purpose, nor the plan. Okay? God doesn't want us giving up, giving in, dying, and then waking up and trying all over again. It's not in the plan. Okay? This is not the perfect plan. We are free to do so if we like. For we are made free to make choices. But this plan is so constructed, so perfect, that it contains all that we need to make it pass and fully pass every ounce of limitation, restriction, denial, lack or limitation that does not belong to us as one with infinite spirit. To, for us to make it up and over, God knows what we need, and we've been given it. And to succeed, the great success, is to succeed in being who we are. In bringing out that beautiful light of God that we are. That is the great success of successes. So that we be the glorious, complete light beings born of divine light as we are fully cognizing that and being that. So the purpose of the divine plan is for full emancipation, resurrection, and ascension for each and every being. For we are all individualized centers of divine intelligence. We have been given all we need to go cooperate with the great sublime one, the nameless one, the sublime one, which we call God. The sacred the beloved of the ages, the absolute one. We are already greater than any challenge, and every challenge shall see its day. Do not doubt it. It shall see its day because it's not you. It shall see its day as we rise in the glory of spirit, fully conscious, aware, leaving each challenge behind us, perfected, each one, in the glory of being, and conscious aware, awareness and in the true and full application of our true natures which are one with God. When is this plan being perfected? Well, right here and now. Right here and now, it's happening. Within every individual, this plan is being perfected. Within every individual who is willing to take on this high goal of goals in which all good goals are contained and given. It's what we are about. Doing our Father's business. So the first level, it's like the riding the tricycle is getting your life in order. Then God's plan can work. You know, then you come into the second thing. 
which is to really bring it all out, you know. So, um, by aligning our will, evolving our conscious knowing and wisdom to see what we are and the magnificent beauty of that which is, we now join in in, in announcing this is the period of the returning of the gifts of being. This is the age of light. This is the returning of eternal life and freedom from death and lack. The returning of beings of light as us and more to come. Returning of beings of light working with intelligently, directly with the source. At this point in time, if we want it, all that belongs to us can return and is returning. For we have realigned with cosmic purpose. Do you know how powerful that is? We've been out to lunch, and now we come back, and things can work. Okay? So we have aligned, realigned with cosmic purpose, and we are doing our thing, transforming ourselves, doing our work, not hard work, our love work, that the light may shine and that all may be as it is. So I know that all your good studying and attention to the truth shall deliver you every gift of the kingdom. Absolutely. Absolutely. All that you are shall be uncovered and shall be known and through your sincere interest, just your interest alone, just your bothering to do this adjustment, alignment, through your love of spirit. For you are the divine plan fulfilled. You are the coming of the cosmic Christ. You are the perfect pattern realized in all your ways, each and every one. God doesn't call the chosen, yet qualifies the called. Quali so we're all called. But this, ex you know, a phase of this experience is our qualification. So um, I just like to do a very short meditation to in incorporate this principle. So let us go within to the high and holy place, to the sacred spot where all of God is, all of cosmic light is radiating infinitely. And let us say within, O light of lights, great God of my being, I love thee so. Thou art so perfect, so complete. Thou art the one and only thing I recognize as the full presence of my life. Right now, in the awareness of thee, I don thy every quality in all I think and say and do. I join with you in the great purpose of upholding, upholding the beloved cosmos of being. I back thy plan fully with all my being for the emancipation of every being and all of life. And as I do so, I am rich for I know that my mighty I am reciprocates my every giving of light 
and that, God, you are backing me up in all. Right now, I accept the gift of thy love. I am overjoyed at the immensity of good that thou art. I know thou dost radiate complete splendor through my life. I am so healed of that which even a moment ago concerned me. I am so immersed in the awareness of good at every level of being and direct experience that I cannot even remember my former condition. Thank you, God. I make it through all my passageways of freedom with thy light before me. I am one with all, the completeness. I give thanks it is manifest now, superbly, supremely, this glorious truth, and so it is.